Hey everyone, what's up? So today's video is gonna be something super cool, super exciting. It's kind of scary, like I've never really spoken about this to anyone. It's a little bit of a secret, something that I am quite embarrassed about, but today we are here at the private clinic to basically see what the doctor will do and help me out. I'm kind of so scared. Like I said, I'm here in Harley Street in London. So let's head on over inside and have our consultation and then we'll go from there. Who's ready, guys? excited kind of nervous don't really know what to expect but ooh, just fill out all the forms and we're gonna go for it we're gonna do it it's gonna be a good one yeah so I would say that I'm using deodorant and antiperspirant at the moment right sure. but usually I find that I would literally have a shower I'll get ready and literally as I've just finished doing my makeup and getting dressed I'm already sweating right. and I haven't even left my house so it has been something which is very annoying um, especially if I'm in public or I'm on stage or if I'm at an event with people it's just so annoying because sometimes I'll be like really conscious about it sure. so I kind of use I may perhaps overuse fragrances to kind of like deal with it or I have this medicated roll-on deodorant which helps minimize sweating okay. which i haven't used in quite some time it's just been something that i've always had on my mind but i've been a bit scared to get it done okay there's nothing scary about this okay actually it's quite straightforward and it's not very painful it is quite a few injections okay under uh, in the arm area mm -hmm. so it's botox mm -hmm. so the botox is going to relax where where are the botox injected it's in it's sort of relaxing the muscle uh, contraction is blocking the nerve ending and whatever it's controlling. Okay. It's between nerve ending and the muscles mm -hmm. or if nerve ending and sweat glands. Okay. So the Botox will start to block the signal passing through. So when you don't have a signal controlling the muscles, you don't have a signal to control the gland producing, secreting sweat, okay. then that's the purpose of it. Wow. So you have less sweat. Yeah, it's quite straightforward. Um, how long does it last for? Last for eight it varies quite a lot actually. Okay. It could be eight months, could be a year, could be more. Okay. So wow, that's really good. Yeah, so maybe the first time ever, you the result can last a bit shorter than we expected, but okay. it could be you could be the lucky one sort of last longer. We're gonna inject pretty much from here, there, okay. to that sort of little area. Oh, cool. It's gonna numb you, but when we inject, you feel less. Bit of discomfort. Cool. Thank there you. Go. You're welcome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You can put your arms down. All right, guys. So we have completed the consultation. I am so excited for this treatment, but also nervous and scared. Obviously, naturally, this is something that I've never had done before. So yeah, I really just wanted to bring you on this journey and let you know about the secret of mine and just be truthful and honest and really open with you guys, just in case if this is something that you might have or you might experience that you might also be embarrassed about or anything like that there's an option and there's a treatment out there for you so we're gonna leave this numbing cream here for around about 15 to 20 minutes it is optional i'm just kind of scared so i decided to go for it and then afterwards we will proceed with the treatment and we're thinking of having around about 20 to 25 needle injections on each armpit of botox and like the doctor said it will last depending on the individual but around about 8 to 12 months which i think sounds amazing and it takes two weeks to kick in so perfect for that holiday coming up not gonna lie so yeah i guess without wasting any more time let's just go straight into the treatment so we're going to inject this area pretty much going down a little bit more just in case there's some sweat glands there
a lot of doctors they inject only the sort of large grid. Mm -hmm. You can see I sort of cover quite um, in sort of dense. So that will sort of spread, diffuse very well to uh, relax most of the sweat glands. So these little uh, bumps, they will disappear five to ten minutes time. How does it feel? Yeah, fine. Some areas a bit sharp, some areas okay, right? Yeah, I think um, mm. around the lower region, it's a little bit more sensitive, yes. but everything else is absolutely fine. Mm. All right, guys, so if I'm going to say pain out of one to 10, just to kind of help any of those people who are considering having this done and are feeling scared, don't be scared. I'll probably say it's like two out of 10. You just feel the pinch, but it's definitely not painful at all. So yeah, it's, it's okay. It's actually way easier than what I thought. We're not going to be possibly sort of relaxed or stopped or sweat glands mm -hmm. working. So there will still be sweating, okay, cool. but much, much less. Okay, we're cool. not completely trying to stop the sweating here at all because oh, there's functionality right. of the sweat. Cool. So, because the coolest is cool is I actually sweat. didn't know that. Yeah. Okay. So it's not going to be 100% of sweat. Yeah, I'm sure. So there'll still be yeah, just some glands working. Some glands working. Yeah. So if you're talking about compensation sweat from elsewhere, yeah. it's not really the case. Yeah, because this yeah. is like one of the questions that I think a lot of people have is like, if you have this done, then will you sweat a lot more somewhere else? Uh, it's not necessarily true. You might notice some extra sweat somewhere else, but it's not necessarily compensating sweat because there's still some sweat glands working here. Uh, sort of the functionality is still there, but you might notice elsewhere because the tension slightly shifted. Okay. That could be the case. So if you inject less density, it just uh, the bottles will diffuse less well. So that will sort of relax less glands, so you will see more sweat. So there you go. So it's about 15 unit, units on each side. Mm -hmm. And let's observe. For about two weeks, you're gonna see the most of the results. If it's not enough, top it up. Okay. Don't have exercise, don't have hot showers. Yeah, this one, well, none of those are necessary, even for the face. But let's talk about this one. So for this, you can massage if you want to, that helps the bottom to diffuse, but it's really not going to do much because it's going to bounce to the area within 20 minutes to an hour's time. It's not going to do anything extra. So even for the face, after Botox, as long as you don't touch this part for the next half an hour, up to an hour's time, everything's back to normal. You can have a shower if you want to. Okay. You don't worry too much about it. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right, guys. So literally just finished the treatment here at the private clinic. Honestly, the doctor was so amazing, so informative. It was actually a very quick procedure. So both armpits are completely treated. And honestly, I would totally just say that pain, one out of 10, like 10 being the most, is around about two to three. Yeah, maybe two to three. It's like you can feel the pinch, but that's about it. Yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this slightly different video and also something that I've just really kept in and kept a little bit of a secret and felt a little bit embarrassed about. But hopefully this will help some of you guys out there. So until next time, I'll see you soon. Bye. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? So it has been a few days now since I had my treatment. Yes, I have changed my hair slightly. So I just wanted to tune in and give you guys a little bit of an update. So after my treatment, um, there was a few little like red dots, but they're all gone. As you can see, my armpit just looks completely normal. I actually had no discomfort whatsoever. I didn't feel or notice any change apart from, yeah, there's a lot less sweat there. I haven't sweated since the treatment, which has been amazing. I don't know. It's kind of habit for me to still use a bit of deodorant, but I have on the odd day not worn deodorant and I've been absolutely fine. So I'm actually blown away by how effective this treatment was. Also don't forget that the longevity does depend on the individual, but just the fact that it could last that long 
up to a year is just incredible. So I would definitely recommend this treatment if you're someone who excessively sweats from your armpit. So yeah, I mean, thank you so much for joining me on this very random review. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. I really wanted it to be a little bit more educational. It is quite embarrassing to be that open about something like this, but I feel like hopefully with me being just very open and honest, then someone else who might also be feeling the same way I was, it might help them out. Like I said, thank you so much for tuning in, guys. Let me know what you think about this video in the comments down below. And also, are there any other treatments that you'd love me to review? Like, please do let me know if it's something that I think is suitable i will definitely look into it and research just to make sure that it is all good for you guys and until next time i'll see you soon okay <laughs> bye guys bye